Well, opening a small business is no small feat, especially during a middle of a pandemic. But Harlingen native Juan Macias took that leap of faith to be able to continue in capturing memories one photo at a time. CBS4 photojournalist Rolando Avila shows us what inspires the man behind the lens. I'm a photographer. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's one of those things where uh, I'm still adjusting to a self-employed photographer. That's uh, exactly what I do here. My wife and I, we actually bought this building during the pandemic. My wife is a fashion designer here. She was paying photographers to do a lot of the shoots for her, for her, obviously her website and social media and whatnot. And I saw the amount of money that was going into it. It turned on the bulb and said, this is something that I probably want to do. One, two. Looking for that different angle. My number one thing is I'm focusing on the individual who I'm shooting the, the, the photos. Can you take a step to the right? One more half step right there, perfect. I'm looking for body language on how he feels comfortable. Uh, I'll throw out keywords. So I'm, I'm constantly focusing on working the subject for the subject to come out and be themselves. I like that right there. By doing so, by saying certain little trigger keywords, I, 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 it, it'll you know make their eyes open up or give it, bring in a certain little grin or smile. Look, put your head down further. Right there, I like that. Keep it mysterious. I don't want to just take a picture. I want to capture them in the picture. Look at the way that looks. I like that. That's a serious look there, sir. <laughs> the biggest reaction that I get from a lot of them is like, I like what you did. How can we make this even more? What can we do? They're, they want to add on more to it. So that's the biggest reaction is they're surprised in their face and wanting to do more. Yeah, sweet, perfect. I like it. Cool. And Macias has been a professional photographer since 2010. He and his wife own a business in downtown Harlingen.